Why, hello there. Happy Monday, everyone. Well, what are we going to talk about today to begin a new week? Well, I can't believe I actually have to talk about this because I am very shocked that this news came out last week. And I know I'm far behind of anyone on YouTube because a lot has happened to me in the past week that I'm not going to get into. But I figured for a pre-planned video that I wanted to have today, we're going to talk about the iPod. And if you didn't hear the news, or if you've been behind, Apple announced last week that the iPod will no longer be made. And I'm going to read this article from TechCrunch to give a little bit of a retrospective here. So, it says here that last October marked 20 years back in 2001 when Steve Jobs officially announced the revolutionary music player. So, last Tuesday, May 10th, Apple announced that the iPod will no longer be made. Or, <laughs> as this article specifically states, that Apple announced that the iPod touch is dead. This is a particular gadget can never be dead. Rather, it will shuffle off this moral, mortal coil slowly, remaining for sale which, when supplies last. So, <laughs> if you were considering one for any reason, buy now or forever, hold your peace. Well, that can't be true. You know there's a lot of people who still sell it online on eBay. The iPod Touch Def has been a protracted one. I can hear those iPods are still around, parts clogging up around the comments. So, it's just very interesting to think that the iPod is gone. It is no longer going to be around with us. And one of the iconic memories of the iPod Touch, of course, you're seeing right here, Steve Jobs introducing the Nano back in 2004, which is... I'm crazy to think how big the original iPod was, but nevertheless, I mean, think about it. The iPod was the way that we took music on the go for a pretty long time. And of course, we know about the iPod Touch, which was back in 2005, of course, but Google the term iPod and very unfortunate to think that we know the iPod Touch was discontinued last week according to what you Google right here. So a little bit of my personal take. I did have two iPod Touches. Well, I still got one laying around, but the screen still needs to be replaced. And thankfully, I may now have to consider getting a screen replacement now. While supplies last, supposedly. Unless people on eBay still make them. And maybe the iPod Touch 4 can do that. But I don't know. I mean, maybe I might do a video on restoring my iPod Touch 4 down the line. It honestly really depends on what happens. And I still hope I can find somebody down the line who would be willing to restore my screen. But the first thing I got to do is buy the thing online, which will probably cost 30 bucks but i don't know i mean i used to have an ipod touch at gertz academy when they gave me one a long time ago then i had the four and then story goes when i was in manhattan a couple of years ago i accidentally dropped it while i was walking on west 45th street in midtown and I have plenty of music on it still, but that's going to be very difficult to, again, try to replace the screen. But I think I can do it. And, you know, I will mention one last thing before we wrap this up was I did have an iPod Touch 5, but I got rid of it, too. Uh, make some money. I'm not going to get into that reason, but... Yeah. It's just very unfortunate that 
the iPod's gone. And you can thank our phones for playing music now. I mean, again, for a little nostalgic feeling, I'll consider buying the replacement screen for my iPod Touch 4. And we'll go from there and see if anybody wants to fix it. Because I'm willing to pay a good price to do it. My first priority first is to get my iPhone 7's battery changed. But that's a whole different story for another time. But thank you iPod Touch for giving us good memories of music, games, videos, and everything that you've done for the past 20 plus years. And Will we miss you? Yes. But for some people, no. Because again... We can just put music on our phones. So that's just a little bit of my take on the death of the iPod. And, you know, for any children, I will just mention that, you know, when we were your age, this is how we had to used to get our music back in the 2000s. So you kids have it better now with your uh, fancier phones and your echo devices that can play music and you know i'm from a different time where we actually had to use cds and cassettes to listen to music or just hope that our favorite song would come on the radio or maybe even on mtv for all we know <laughs> so that's pretty much it thank you for watching and uh i will mention wwdc is coming up in a couple of weeks so i'm looking forward to seeing how iOS 16 is going to look. And we're supposed to be getting iOS 15.5 before the end of this month. So a lot's really happening in the Apple community anyway. So until the next one, take care.